Hello, our citizens. My name is Chris. I'm a Grand Education Instructor from Rolling Hills, California. Today, we're going to work on Qigong for our spine. So we're going to work on opening up our spine. Many people have back problems, circulation problems through their spine. It helps with our organs. It helps with everything. So taking care of our spine is a very, very important part. So let's go ahead and bring our feet a little bit shoulder width apart. We're going to start with a little bouncing in our knees. And with your left arm, bring it in front of you. Left, right arm, bring it behind you. And then swinging down, up to like a T, and then across. But look at the hand that's in front of you. Inhale up, exhale out. So we want to release a little bit of the stagnant energy. We want to get a gentle twist, starting from the saws, the spine, a little bit side to side. <sighs> Breathing out through your mouth. <sighs> so feel the bouncing through the legs. Feel the reaching through the arms. So as you toss your hands side to side, try to throw stagnant energy. Try to throw your stress out across the room. <sighs> You might want to go faster. Ah, if you have a lot of stress, ah, good. So find a rhythm that helps your body and mind come together. Good. Feel the vibration. Good. Two more. One and two, and come in. Feel the shaking through your arms. Well done. So we got a little bit of tingling there. I want to move through our whole spine. So we're gonna start with our neck. So bring your hands to your waist. We're gonna roll through our neck. So drop your chin to your chest and rolling up to the right side and down. Inhale up, exhale down. We'll do two more. Inhale up, exhale down. One more time. And then switching directions. We're coming up and down. So you might get some popping. You might get some cracking, some stretching sensations. Just feel your body. Good. And slowly roll your head back up. Now we're going to move through our rib cage, our thoracic area. So starting to roll through our rib cage. So I want to try to lift my chest to the ceiling. Look up. I want to try to put my shoulder blades on the seat. My chest, my shoulder blades. So most of us can move through our thoracic area. This causes back pain, this causes neck pain. Good, and I'll switch in directions. So you might find this part very awkward. So I will come back to this. Good, coming in, up, and down one more time. Good, so feel your spine waking up, and it might be a little cranky. Good, from the hips, start to move your hips in a circle. So now we're feeling a little bit more the lower back and the hips. Good. Okay. Breathing out through your mouth will help you release some of this tension. Good. And switch directions. So we're just getting a nice, gentle massage of our entire spine. So you can recognize where you're having some tension, where you're having a little bit of discomfort. Good. And slowly stop. Now I'd like you to focus on your pelvis. So find your tailbone and start to draw a little circle with your tailbone. So we're trying to only move our pelvis. So no knees, no upper body. That might be harder to do than you think. So trying to roll through that pelvis. Sitting too much can really lock this guy up. Good, and switching directions. So now we've moved our spine from the neck all the way to the tailbone. So it's gotten a little bit more warm, a little bit more open. Good, slowly stop. Now we're gonna widen our feet. So bring them out a little bit wider and I want your feet parallel. Good, we're gonna start to massage our spine forward and backwards. So we're gonna clasp our hands here and we're going to inhale all the way up, reaching up as high as you can, look up at your hand. And now as you exhale, push forward, your hips go back, your hands go forward, coming down and folding all the way down. Good, as your hands come to the bottom, get a gentle bend in your knees, and then you're going to roll yourself up. Good, bringing your hands up, all the way up, one more time, to the top. Exhale, fold, straight legs, straight back, Good, coming down, bend the knees, and roll yourself up. So we're gonna take three more rolls here, and you might start to lean back further and further here as you open up, and as you exhale, folding forward. Coming down, bending the knees, and then rolling yourself up one vertebrae at a time. Reaching up as high as you can, as far back as you like. Push your hips back, folding forward. So feel every vertebrae starting to work, front and back. Good. This will be one last time. Inhale up. Exhale down. And rolling yourself back up. And you can release the clasp of your hands. Oh, feel your spine starting to wake up. Now I'd like you to point your toes out about 45 degrees. Good. And now we're going to get a little bit of swaying through our spine. So I'd like you to push your left foot in the earth and move your body. Your hips go first, and then your spine comes last. So feel the crown of the head. So imagine a piece of grass blowing in the breeze, and it tips. 
Good. So feel every vertebrae start to tip. Good. So waking up the side, the side of the spine. Good. So as we start to flow, let your hips pull your spine. The crown of the head comes last and moving. So you might get some popping and some cracking along that spine. Good. Pushing side to side. Good. One more time to each side. Over and back and coming back to the center. Good. Feel that length of the spine. Good. Lengthen. Now we're going to bring our feet back in to about shoulder width. So what we're going to start to do is get a little bit of twisting. And this is a version of swinging dragon that's going to allow us. When we talk about dragon, we're talking about our spine. So I'd like you to bring your hands to prayer posture in front of you. Relax your shoulders here. So as we sit in, I want you to push your hands to the right side. As your hands go to the right, I want you to turn your head to the left and your hips are going to turn to the left. So there's two spirals through your spine. There's a stretch in your lower back, your upper back, your middle back. Good. And then now in your next exhale, coming back. <sighs> Releasing that tension. Now as you inhale, you're going to push your hands over to the left. Your head's going to turn to the right. Your hips turn to the right. So you're twisting through the spine, head and hips moving one way, hands the other, and exhale back. We're gonna do one more time, each side of a little hold. So the hold allows you to feel the intensity where your tension is. Exhale, coming back. Good. One more time, the other side. Hands to the left, head and hips to the right. And then as you exhale, come back. Now with your own breath. So as you inhale, twisting. As you exhale, coming back. It can start to flow with a natural breath. Exhale. Two more times. Good. Feel the spine getting warmer. Feel things opening in the top part, the lower part. Good. And now coming back, lining up in the center. Now we're going to start to swim. So I want you to take your fingers and push them out to the right. Good, let your head fall, and then you're gonna come back with the hands and the head. So you wanna get a little bit of that tipping sensation through your whole body. Good, starting to move your body. So feel the flowing water coming up your spine. That's the energy movement. And then you can start to grow. Your hands can start to rise a little bit. Fingers and crown of the head are leading the way. And then the tailbone and the bottom of the spine come after. Good. We're going to come up as high as we can. So feel the stretch, feel the opening, feel from your tailbone all the way to the tips of your fingers. Good. Now as you get to your full height, you're going to stop, you're going to reach up. Now we're going to get a little extra. If we can, we can lift our heels up. Good. If that's too challenging, it's okay to stay with your feet on the ground, but lift your heels, bringing in energy through the soles of our feet, reaching to the fingers. And a big, long dragon ready to dive into the ocean. Good. Slowly lower the heels and start to swim your way back down. Hands are going side to side. Hands and head leading the way. Good, breathing out through your mouth. Bringing your hands back and down. Coming back to line up in front of your heart. Job and slowly settle back in. Feel your spine lengthen the crown of your head towards the ceiling, your tailbone towards the floor. Good. Now we're going to bring our hands down like a diamond, right over your lower abdomen, your lunge. Second chakra. So now as you breathe in, fill that space. And your exhale, squeeze. As we feel the energy here in the second chakra, our spine feels more stable, more strong. Keep floating the crown of your head towards the ceiling. Keep reaching your tailbone towards the earth. Every breath fills your abdomen. Exhale, squeeze. Good. You're welcome to close your eyes if you're comfortable. Inhale fully. Exhale completely. One more breath in. circulating through your body. Good. And now we'll begin to wrap up this session here. We'll bring our hands to our center and consult with them. Thank you. If you'd like to experience a full one hour brain education class, 
is check a body and brain center near you.